Okay, today is the uh, 26th of uh, January 2017 um, and uh, I can record for uh, uh, number 10 2005-2007 center link corruption and failure of duty and that's uh, also to do with the uh, uh, you know, civil action against the state of Western Australia and again it's number 10 between 2005-2007 I'm gonna go brief with the document I have at that time uh, to who it may concern and the dated 5th of uh, the 31st of May 2006 uh, before the 23rd of December 2005, we informed Centerlink that we have to travel to Jordan in emergency because my father were, um, you know, dying or he's ill. Uh, also, we informed that uh, I might go to the United States to, uh, uh, to do an art exhibition or stay there for a while. On the 23rd of December, uh, we went to Jordan, my wife and four kids, my brother, uh, Keith, uh, helped me with some financial things. In Jordan, my father died on uh, 25th of February 2006. Uh, the point after that, my brother, Munzer, called me uh, from the United States said that I have a letter from Australia I asked him I asked him to read the letter for me said to continue to receive your Australian pension after that date 24th of March 2006 you will need to confirm that you are in the United States of America okay to here I stop and I explain to you before I traveled actually to Jordan I was still in Australia I went to Centrelink, I asked them about the uh, agreement between Australia and some of the countries like the United States and Commonwealth country. So they said to me, yeah, because you have disability and it's 100% whatever, then you are able to continue to be paid while you're in the United States of America. So they already gave me green lights, okay? Uh, after my brother again, he received letter, I was still in Jordan, he received letter from Centerlink, the USA said that I have letter from the Australia, I asked him to read it, the letter for me, said to continue to receive your Australian pension after that date, 24th of March 2006, you will need to confirm that you are in the United States of America. Uh, Send me also form to fill uh, to fill it from Central Link in the USA. My brother, I'll leave that one. Uh, the tickets, the money, it's been borrowed. Okay, from my brother. Uh, while we are in the USA, I received letter saying that the payment will stop because they don't believe that. I am severe disabled. That's again after the first letter. <clears throat> and when I traveled to the United States, they sent me another letter saying, We don't believe that you are severe disabled and we're going to stop your payment. All the letters sent by Centerlink were continue over saying words uh, to let you lose over our rights. Anyway, what I remember after that, that uh, I done, I think, appeal over the phone and I spoke to uh, a certain department, I think, the, let's call it, the AT or what's it called? This room. Uh, the administration appeal, 
Tribunal, okay, uh, Administration Appeal Tribunal, and it was uh, over the phone. And I went to a community center over there, uh, explaining to them my story. That's in the United States, and the situation the Australian government they put me on, and uh, I've been s severely upset and you know very stressed about the whole condition. Uh, because they put me in a very hard shape financially and uh, suffering financially with my four kids and my uh, wife my wife while I'm in the United States uh, because of uh, the mistake uh, them uh, for them not doing them duty properly they should have told me when I asked them that you you're not getting the payment while you're in the United States but they actually know they cost me a lot of money exceeded more than twenty thousand uh, dollars payment and money borrowed from my brother just to get my financial situation settled over there thank you very much for watching and that's about Centrelink and uh, the lack of doing them duty thank you